Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Um, this is the much requested pastel pencil comparison video. Um, I've got a few different sets to compare here. I own the Holbein 50 set, the Castle Art Pastel Tint 48 set, the Astra Pastel Love 50 set and the Brute Funa Macaron 50 set. Um, and I have those here um, to go through and show you today. Um, so at the moment we are in July 2022. Um, you can purchase the Holbein pastel pencils um, on eBay. It tends to be the cheapest prices that I've seen uh, for around the £120 mark. Um, you can get the Brute Funa Macaron at the moment. You can now get these from Amazon. Um, for about the £14 mark. Uh, the Castle Art pastel tints tend to be around the £33 mark and for the budget pencils these are that is a little bit overpriced for the other options that you can get if you ask my opinion which is what this is all about um and the astra pasta love for 50 set um is usually going for around the 18 pound mark from um a polish shop that you can purchase them from online um so obviously quick disclaimer prices change they fluctuate they go up and down there'll be sales on there won't be the prices will you know just change through inflation if you're watching this video at a later date and the price is different that's because that happens prices change take it with a pinch of salt it's very fluid that's just what they were last week when i was getting my video ready and checking things um so before we do anything else, I am not directly comparing Holbein to any of these uh, budget pencil sets. You cannot compare a luxury pencil brand to a budget pencil set. It's not realistic, it's not going to work, <laughs> and it's not fair to either of the pencils. These are expensive, but they are a quality pencil with... Um, quite a high pigment and you get what you pay for having said that for what is such a budget pencil the brute through in a macaron they lay down enough pigment for you to use them they are smooth enough for you to get use out of them um, they are a nice set of pencils at a very very affordable price and you will be able to do the things that you want to do with them um, this whole video is just to show you, you know, kind of some of the options, what I have and what I like and what I've found them to be. But you can't buy a packet of Brute Fauna Macaron and expect them to perform like a whole vine. It's, it's just not realistic. Um, so what we have and what we don't, the Holbein 50 pastel set, they're a very creamy pencil, they're very opaque, you'll get a lot of colour pigment for your lay down um, and in some respects that is actually a little bit tricky to work with. They take a little bit of practice um, and they take a little bit of getting used to. They have a beautiful feel to these pencils but you very quickly lay down too much pencil um, you need to work in light layers with these so if you're you know a heavy-handed colorist that likes to smush your colors together um, you're going to struggle a little bit um, and really find these probably quite hard to get used to and maybe even decide that you don't like them just because something's expensive doesn't mean you're going to love it. Um, the one beauty with the Holbein, they are available open stock because they're an expensive pencil. So, you know, before you go and invest so much money in something, just buy a couple of the colours that are really pretty, a little bit unique, that you really fancy and, and try them. Don't, you know, just buy a set of 50 pencils for £120 that are going to sit on your shelf because when you actually use them, they don't match your colouring style and they don't work with the techniques that you like to use. Um, there's a lot of 
uh, question marks on the light fastness of these pencils. There's a very up in, a, up in the air in the colouring community about whether these are light fast. Holbein say they are, um, but they don't use conventional scaling systems to prove that they are from what people have seen. Um, if you're a colourist, it's not an issue. It's... Um, it makes no difference to you whether your um, coloured pencils are going to last for the next hundred years. If you're an artist, it's a different thing. They're not going to want to risk those pencils quickly fading and not um, lasting in their artwork. So it becomes an issue. But for myself as a colourist, it's not a problem. They are an expensive pencil, um, but they're a quality pencil. They feel like nice pencils. They're made from nice wood. Um, and they do have very beautiful colour pigments, um, which we will get into in a bit. So um, the next price down would be the Castle Art Pastel Tints. In this set, there's 48 pencils. Um, they're overpriced for a budget pencil set. Uh, I'm not going to beat around the bush with this. This video is not sponsored by any particular brand. I'm not endorsed by any pencil brands. Nobody sends me things um, and pays me to tell you to buy them. Um, I just use a lot of pencils and I like what I like. And the Castle Art are overpriced for what they are. Um, on a sale, I think they're probably really worth picking up if you like Castle Arts. Uh, they're a nicer formula than the old Castle Art pencils. I don't know how they compare to the Castle Art golds. I haven't used or ha I don't have those. Um, but I do have a set of the old Castle Art pencils. Uh, and these feel a little bit, uh, a little bit smoother, a little bit creamier than those. So they do seem to have improved their formula a little bit. They're nicely labelled. They look like nice pencils. They're very, um, you know, lightweight, thin, cheap pencils. But they they've got capped ends. They're nicely labelled. Um, they 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 you know they hold nice in the hand. Um. The colours are a bit less rich. I know from my swatches they all look very similar um, but obviously I've had to put more pressure on my budget pencil sets to get the same kind of colour payoff as I have for my Holbein so they are actually a little bit um, less rich in pigment than the Holbein. You'll have to put more pressure down if you struggle with your hands that can obviously be um, a little bit of an issue for some people. Um, but they're not a terrible pencil, I just I think they're overpriced for what they are. Uh, and that's coming from someone that's willing to pay ridiculous amounts of money for pencils. So um, seeing that as what you will. Uh, the next price down we have the Astra Pasta Love. Before the Brute Funa came out, I really enjoyed these. I think they're, you know, they're a really cheap budget set of pencils um they couldn't be beaten before in price obviously then brute funa decided to fix that and bring out their version but they're a cheap set of pencils they're kind of aimed at kids which is what has truly kept the price down um i know a lot of people say they're very scratchy obviously they're not as smooth as an expensive pencil but i haven't found them to be horrendously scratchy they they lay down okay and i've worked with them fine um they're not as smooth as some more expensive pencils, but, you know, that is to be expected. I had the one pencil that wasn't fully colour mixed and you can see a little bit um, of purple in the lead. I don't know if that'll go as I use the pencil more. Um, the main downside with the Astra, uh, for a colourist point of view, is they're not labelled in any way. There's no numbers, there's no names. Um, I know that bugs some people an awful lot and that will be the thing that makes them, um, you know, stray away from the Astra. Uh, it is easily fixed with a Sharpie, put some numbers on, pop a bit of tape over it. It makes it a permanent lay down that you can't then rub off over time and uh, you can then add some numbers onto your swatch chart. Um, apart from that, you know, they're, they're a budget pencil, so the colours do not match the barrel colours. You'll have to make a swatch if you want to see a true representation of them. That goes the same for the Castle Arts. I think I forgot to mention that. Um, and again, you will have to add quite a bit of pressure if you're wanting to get a quick, rich colour payoff. Um, but, you know, they're, they're a usable pencil. They've got nice colours. Um, on a budget 
you know, I, I don't think you're going to dislike them. I think there's a few different kinds of sets out there. I found the ones that I bought straight from um, the site in Poland to be quite nice. And yet I've seen other people that have used them that say they're really scratchy and they're not very nice. But they do seem to have bought them from Amazon. So I'm not completely sure whether they're exactly the same um, supplier maybe. Maybe there's a different issue going on there. And then finally, that brings us to the Brute Funa Macaron. These are a very crumbly pencil. Um, you'll get a lot of dust with these. That is not a problem for me. I work with a brush anyway. Most pencils are crumbly, even some of your very expensive ones. Um, it just means they're a little bit drier and you just need to brush off the dust as you work. Um, I bought my original set from AliExpress, but they have since brought these onto Amazon and you can get them from there now. Um... They've got quite a rich colour payoff for a budget set. Obviously, they're not as dark as the whole band immediately, but um, they do require less pressure than the other budget pencils that I've tried in this video. Again, your barrels will not match <laughs> your pencil leads. Um, they're not an exact match, so you may want to make a swatch chart or swatch them out as you use them just to um, check what colours you're actually getting. Um... The only real downside for me with the Brute Funa, I mean, you guys know I love Brute Funa. I like their Brute Funa squares. I'm a fan of the Black Barrel Brute Funas. I've got the Brute Funa 520 set like a crazy person. Uh, I do like the Brute Funa pencils. They're a very, they're a very good pencil at a very budget price. Um, but they have been particularly naughty with this set. They are a blatant rip-off a complete copy of the Holbein. The entire pencil, they're coloured the way the Holbeins are, they've got the same silver band the Holbeins do, they've used the same colour names and the same colour numbers and they really have just made them look, you know, as much as possible like they're a copy of the Holbein. Obviously the wood's not as nice, they don't have the same weight and feel to them um but yeah they've they've gone a little bit above and beyond to make them look like they're a set of holbeins which um i don't mind a, a budget pencil a do but i don't think you should really just completely copy something else when obviously it's not going to be the same <laughs> it's never going to be a true dupe of the original um because they're made with cheaper materials um Apart from that, they're a lovely pencil. Um, they sharpen okay. All the pencils I've had sharpen fine, no matter which set they are. That, I think, that has I've found in my own experience, unless you've managed to buy a rubbish copy from somewhere, um, that it comes down more to your sharpener than the pencils themselves. I mean, sometimes you'll get one pencil in a set that just you sharpen and sharpen and sharpen. And most likely, at some point in its little pencil life, it's been dropped. Something has happened and it's been cracked. And there's nothing you can really do about the fact that that pencil has either been dropped, you know, by the manufacturer or by someone looking at them or by yourself by accident. And now the pencil leg is broken and cracked and ruined. I know there's a couple of little fixes that you can do. You can heat them up and things. If you Google it on uh, YouTube, you people have different little fixes for chucking them in, you know, crazy places and um, heating them up, kind of melting the wax and then letting it retexturize. I don't know what that does to your pencil, but in fairness, if it's so cracked that you are shaving your pencil away anyway, then it doesn't really matter if it ruins it. It's worth having a go if it might save it because otherwise that pencil's going in the bin either way. Um, but yeah, it's 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 one of those. It's one of those. Um, I've lost my train of thought. You can tell. I need a little minute. Uh, so I don't know. Don't know where I was going with that. Um, the actual pencil comparison themselves. We have four different sets of pencils, three sets of 50, one set of 48. I have painstakingly swatched and swatched and swatched and swatched little patches all over the place to try and get um, the actual colour order of all these pencils to match. And surprisingly, 
um, they are very, very, very similar um, colour matches. So I'm going to pop the Holbein and then the Castle Pastel Tint and then the Astra Pastel Love and then the Brute Funa Macaron. Uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit and we'll move all of these. So what you will immediately notice if we do the first layer here is that they are very similar. As I say, with the budget sets, I had to apply more pressure to get the same kind of colour payoff. The main thing you're going to notice with the Holbein over the other is they have, they, they've kind of, they've managed that vintage pretty colour just a little bit better. They've managed that unique tone of colour that little tiny bit better. But unless they were side by side, you wouldn't really notice that. Um, I find out of the budget ones that the Brute Funa have managed to bring that tone the closest overall but they are all very similar you'll see we've got this chartreuse kind of colour and if anything the Holbein's version has that slight bit more yellow to it than the others managed to achieve you've got this beautiful kind of olive colour that comes next again really really similar and you can see all the sets have quite closely managed to get these similar colors and um, what you will notice in each set is um the the colors are completely different they've got them i mean the brute funa and the holbein not so much so i've got a couple um in the brute funa that are named the same as a holbein but i found actually matched different colors um, so uh, that's probably just a mistake in their copying. Um, so again, really similar with that um, truer green colour. This beautiful um, kind of aqua colour here. They're all really similar. Um, we've got this, again, really close. Uh, the castle art didn't quite make the mark with that one. Um, Again, in this set, I don't think the Astra have quite managed the same colour as the Holbein, but the other two are pretty close. Um, we've got these greens here that all seem to match up pretty well. Uh, these more aqua-toned greens, again, in all the sets, they've really managed to copy them quite well. Um, then your brighter greens. Um, in this set, I think the Castle Art had um, a little bit more yellow in theirs. We've got this rich mustard colour. I did find that the Brute Funa has more green in their mustard. I'm not sure that their actual pencil leads mixed as well for that one. So that might improve as you use the pencil. Um, just a little bit. I think just the end of my pencil, uh, the lead wasn't mixed quite right. But I, if I remember rightly, I'm sure it started to come true to colour. Um, towards the end so not a big issue again you can see they're just they're very very similar all the sets so um i think for this uh, kind of mauve color there's more purple in the brute funa and then these are all really really similar very much the same the mauvey colors i think the castle art is just a more bubblegum pink the Astra has that little bit more purple, whereas the Brute Funa managed to match that Holbein colour a lot better. You've got your Wisteria kind of colours. That is in the, obviously, uh, Holbein and Brute Funa. Then they're called different. It's uh, Heather in the um, Castle Art. But you've got these purples really nicely matching up. And then that lovely warm grey that they have. Um, and they've all managed quite similar. I think the Castle Art, it's got a bit more of a cooler tone to it. But there's not a lot in it. The Brute Funa really seem to have managed to match up that little bit of warm French grey in there. Um, so, we then have our second lot of colours for all of these and again you can see they're just so very similar castle art are completely missing this second colour down that's not one of their 48 that's one of the ones that i found to not be in the set 
um, whereas the others have matched that up really nicely. That cool grey, I think the Brute Funa managed that slight purple tone to the Holbein grey there better than the other two brands did. Um, we've got these kind of um, very pale corally pink colours coming down. Uh, again, the Brute Funa matched that really well. The Astra's a bit too pink. The Castle Art was a bit too pale. Um, there's a more pinky colour and then a more ashy colour. The Castle Art's is a bit too warm. And the Astra is a little bit too washed out. There's not quite that richness of uh, colour tone. We've got these corally colours where the Astra's just too pink. And then we have this rose pink, which is the other colour. Um, from what I could find, <laughs> the, in the Astra Pastel set, they just didn't have this colour at all. They just had another pale tone, really, really pale, pale uh, tone. So I popped that in there so that it had a place to go. Um, and then again, this fuchsia colour, um, the... Castle Arts didn't have a colour to match that, so that was the second one of their 48 um, that's in the other sets that is not in the Castle Art set, um, but very similar in tone in the others. And then we come into these really pale, rich kind of creams to yellow orange to yellow. Um, and again, you can see they're all very similar. They're slightly different in tone, but I've managed to match up as best as possible i think mainly um the ones i found that didn't match this kind of peachy set the astra's too yellow and the castle art didn't quite have enough um pink in that tone um this apricot color matches quite well um it's a truer color in the whole bang though uh, the salmon um it matched pretty well i think the Brute Funa matched the whole bind a bit closer than the other two did. And then this nice pretty pink colour here, they're all pretty much the same. They've got their sandy beiges colours pretty similar. They've done them pretty well. And again, the blues then, you can see that they're all, if I bring it up where you can see it, they're all pretty similar across the board. Um, the, the bottom blue there in the castle art has a slightly different tone to the others. Um, but, you know, if you owned one of these sets, I'm not sure that you really would miss any of the others. Um, you know, they're similar enough. You've got enough of the colours that, you know, you don't really need to have four sets of these what are essentially very similar pastel pencil tones. Um, it's just obviously how much money you're willing to spend on them. Uh, again, same order with the whole band here, the Castle Art, the Astra and the Brute Funa Macaron. There is a fly in here now. I'm having one of those interrupting days. This is the second time I'm filming this video, um, thanks to the work going on outside. I had to stop earlier. Right, we're going to ignore it. Can I ignore it? Am I going to pause it? I'll be right back. Okay, I think I dealt with it. Right, um, so last set. Um, I think mainly for these, this top row of blue, um, just the Astra is a little bit too pale, uh, a little bit too much purple in it for it to be right, but the others managed to match that up really well. Um, we've then got quite an aqua colour again, and then this really lovely warmer sage green. None of them have quite hit the mark, but they're very, very close. And then the other blue, just the Astra is a little bit dark, um, but the rest are all very similar. And then this lovely true blue down near the bottom, they're all very similar. The whole band just has that slightly paler tone to the blue. And then this um, lovely purple in the bottom. Uh, the main thing I found is that, it's back, I give up, um, is that the whole band had that slightly truer, richer, paler purple in its tone um, than the other three. So just a little bit different. But again, you know, if you've not got them all side by side to compare, you're never really going to know that. 
so essentially guys any set you get you're going to get you know that range of colors they're all very close they're all very similar the whole bino beautiful pencil i'm not sorry i have them i use mine quite often um they're all a nice accompaniment to other colors uh color pencil sets i wouldn't make them your first purchase they need to be that kind of addition to a true pencil set something that you add on for those lighter tones as you're going to find it quite difficult if this is all you've got to work with to create the pages you want to most of the time um, if I had to pick a budget set it's definitely going to be the Brute Funa Macaron um, the fact that they're the cheapest price and yet seem to be the best budget version is just kind of a win-win situation they're very easy to come by because they are available on amazon and um, well at least for uh, a lot of countries they're easy to come by i should probably say um you know everyone's going to have their preference this is just to show you what i found with them you know you've got to take all this with a pinch of salt i'm just a hobbyist that uses pencils i'm not an expert um i'm not an artist i like to color i like to chat with you and show you what i've found and uh, give you you know the tools you need to make a decision on whether for you it's worth it to save up um go all out get some whole buy. I definitely still advise getting a couple first. You don't I don't think you want to spend that much money to own a pencil set that you don't like. Um you know, or you're newer to colouring and you just want to try a pastel set and therefore, you know, starting out with a budget version to try first always makes sense in many things. And if you can get a budget version that's nicer than the others, which is the Brute Funa Macaron, then you know it's hopefully not also going to put you off your colouring. There's nothing worse than buying a budget set of pencils that are just crap because especially if you're quite a new colourist, you're going to blame yourself, you're going to blame the hobby, you're going to blame that you don't like colouring and you're just going to not do it and it's such a shame if that's, you know, it could have been avoided. I hope this video has been useful in some way for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something. Um, if you've got any questions about anything, please pop them in the comments down below. I always answer your questions and I will get back to you. Please uh, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.